Hey, Tony here. Today I wanted to take time to go over 10 of the top films that I enjoy that um, are about fathers. Um, some of these are really good. Some of these I haven't seen in a while, but I remember um, really enjoying them. And so I thought these right here might be some real good recommendations of films that feature dads. So first up, we have this film called Gifted, starring Chris Evans and McKenna Grace. Now this is a film where he's not actually the dad, but he's the uncle. Um, who is raising his niece. His niece is very smart and gifted and this film just kind of goes over that kind of um, life to where he's trying to give her the best. So a really good film that I would highly recommend you check out. Okay, next up we have Steve Martin and Parenthood. I do remember seeing this back in 1989 when it was released. Just a really good story. Um, a, a dad that has all kinds of different um, family situations. Older kids, younger kids just the family in general. I really enjoyed this one. I think you might also enjoy it if you've never seen it. Next up, we have The Father. This right here stars Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman. Really good film um, story. I guess it's a really good story. I wouldn't say it's not a happy story. It's really a difficult watch for those who have had family members suffer with Alzheimer's. Um, but Anthony Hopkins gives a great performance as the father who has Alzheimer's in the way that the film is done in a um, way that makes you feel like you are going through what he's going through. Highly recommend you check this one out. Another great film featuring a father is Mrs. Doubtfire. This right here stars Robin Williams. Um, this is about a dad who is divorced, who wants to spend more time with his children, but is unable to, other than being able to dress up as a housekeeper and being closer with his kids in that fashion. Um, just a really good story. I really enjoy this one. A lot of comedic moments and a lot of um, heartfelt moments. So definitely recommend you check Mrs. Doubtfire out. Okay, next up we have Mr. Mom. This right here is a Michael Keaton film. Um, and it also stars Terry Garr. Now this right here is a film where a dad is taking care of the family, taking care of the kids while the wife works. Um, really good story. I saw this one back when it was released in the theaters. I've only seen it once since then, but I really do enjoy it. It really holds up. Um, I highly recommend you check this out, especially if you're a Michael Keaton fan. Okay, uh, a horror movie that I really enjoyed that I was thinking when I was going through my collection of good dads and to me I think Insidious is a good story where the dad actually tries to save the son who's gone into this darkness. It's really hard to understand but I really enjoy it. Um, um, really good performance by Patrick Wilson and if you've never seen Insidious I would highly recommend you check it out. Okay, another film that has a really different kind of dad. Um, this isn't a story about a dad who, I don't know, this right here is a story about a dad who's persistent and wants his daughters to be able to um, achieve something special in their lives, which they did. This is Will Smith and King Richard. Um, I have actually only seen this once. I saw it probably um, about a month ago for the first time. Really enjoyed the performance. He did a really, really good portrayal of the father in this film. Um, I wasn't very familiar with Venus and Serena Williams' story other than knowing that they are tennis pros, um, champions, I guess. And um, anyways, his performance was excellent. I thought he did a great job um, portraying the father in that film. Um, he wanted the best for his daughters, and that's what he sought out to do, and that's what he did. Okay, another great film featuring the father is another Steve Martin film. This right here is Father of the Bride which um, and Father of the Bride 2. I haven't seen these in a while, but I really enjoyed these. Um, it's just a comedic type family movie about Steve Martin being the dad of um, his daughter who is getting married and all that that entails. Really good film. If you've never seen either one of these, they're both great. Okay, another heartfelt film featuring a father is Kramer vs. Kramer. This right here, of course, stars Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep. Uh, another story that reminds me of Mrs. Doubtfire in a way. Um, it also reminds me of a marriage story where a dad's going through a divorce and wants to spend time with his child. Um, and in this particular story, there's a little bit of a twist where the father's raising the son and just a really great performance. If you've never checked out Kramer vs. Kramer, I would highly recommend you check it out. And then lastly is another sad story um, dealing with addiction. 
And this, this stars Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet. It's called Beautiful Boy. Um, this is a story about a father and his son and how he's dealing with um, his son's addiction and what all that entails. And it's just a really sad story. If you've never checked out Beautiful Boy, definitely check it out. So those are my top 10 father films that I think you should um, check out if you've never seen them. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've seen any of these and what you think about them. And also give me some of your recommendations of some other father films that you think I should check out. Because I, really I really do enjoy reading your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.